Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. IBM has just dropped a speech model in 8 billion size. This is a specialized compact speech language model developed for tasks such as automatic speech recognition and automatic speech translation with a focus on enterprise use cases. I have been covering these granite family of models from IBM for quite some time and I have always felt that IBM always do a very good job with these models especially when it comes to safety, security and enterprise use cases. So I'm quite excited to see how exactly this new speech model works. We are going to install it locally and we will play around with it on different benchmarks. Unlike integrated speech language models that process both speech and language in a single step, Graynet Speech 3.38 billion adopts a two-pass design. The initial step transcribes audio into text and a subsequent explicit call is needed to process the transcribed text using the underlying Graynet language model. This modular approach allows for clear separation between speech recognition and language understanding or translation. I will be talking more about its architecture but Let's get the installation running and we will keep talking about this model. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy masked compute. Let me create a virtual environment. And if you're also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to their website in video's description. I will also give you a 50% discount coupon for range of GPUs. And now let's install Torch, Torch Audio and the latest version of Transformers. This is going to take a minute. Meanwhile, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation and world simulation. And that's installed. Let me clear the screen and we will move forward. And now we need to log into Hugging Face and you would need a read token for that which you can grab from your profile from huggingface.co and that's a free token. And the reason why we are using it because we need to download the model and my login is successful. Let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's download the model. And the model is being downloaded with all the configuration and parameters. There are nine shards of it. While it downloads, let's talk a bit more about the architecture of this model. Now there are very uh, interesting things happening in this model. The architecture of this 3.38 billion is composed of several technical components. At its core, the speech encoder consists of 10 conformer blocks trained with connectionist temporal classification or CTC at the character level which enables efficient and accurate transcription of audio inputs. The encoder utilizes block attention on 4 second audio segments and incorporates self-conditioned CTC from the middle layer. After encoding, a speech projector and temporal downsampler implemented as a two-layer query transformer further processes and compresses the acoustic features, reducing the temporal resolution by a factor of 10 and producing compact embeddings for the language model. The downstream large language model Granite 3.38 billion can handle context length up to 128,000 tokens and is tightly integrated through LoRa adapters which are lightweight and efficient modules applied to the model's query and value projections to enable fine-tuning. Also, IBM has shared some training details. It was conducted on a diverse set of public and synthetic datasets, ensuring robust performance and also to align the speech and language modalities, the encoder and adapter components were fine-tuned alongside the Granite language model. Interestingly enough, the training was performed on IBM's very powerful Blue Vela supercomputing infrastructure using 32 NVIDIA H100 
GPUs over nine days, which enabled efficient scaling and convergence of the model. Okay, let's go back. Model is almost downloaded. The model is downloaded. Now let's do the speech to text. Let me first show you the code. It's a very simple code, by the way, bit longer, but very, very easy. So all we are doing, we are providing it a pass to a local file of um, in WAV format. It's an audio file. And then I'm just preparing the speech in the proper mono and 16 kilohertz, which is a standard frequency. And then we are specifying the chat template where a system prompt that what it needs to do that it's granite and then this is a user where user is asking can you transcribe the speech into a written format and this is a optimal chat template for it we are tokenizing it or encoding it for model model is generating the output as you can see here after speech is prepared and then we are decoding it back and printing the output now before i run this let me quickly run the audio for you and i will play it at what exactly this is after his nap, Timothy lazily stretched first one grey velvet foot, then another, strolled indolently to his plate, turning over the food, carefully selecting choice bits, nosing out that which he scorned upon the clean hearth. So let's transcribe this audio now. And it was very quick. Let me scroll down. There you go. So if you compare it what we played earlier, or maybe I will play that in background and we will check it out together. After his nap, Timothy lazily stretched first one grey velvet foot, then another, strolled indolently to his plate, turning over the food, carefully selecting choice bits, nosing out that which he scorned upon the clean hearth. Yeah, not 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 really um, bad, I would say. Maybe this scorn might be a slightly off but i think not bad at all okay next up i am going to give it one of my own audio file in wave format so let me run this and then i will also play it for you and while it runs let me also show you the vram consumption so it is consuming over 36 gig of vram for an 8 billion model in speech so vram consumption is quite high Okay, so I'll just close this and it has already printed the speech to text. Let me run it in browser for you and then we will both compare. Joy is found in simple moments of gratitude and true contentment comes when we truly value the small blessings we already have in life. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, so next up, what I'm going to do, I'm going to test it on speech translation because it can also do the translation in addition to transcription. The supported languages are, of course, English and then French, Spanish, Italian, German, Portuguese, Japanese and Mandarin. But I have also just for the testing purposes added Arabic, Hindi, Indonesian, Swahili, Urdu and Persian. But it just supports on their model card these ones. Anyway, so I'm going to run it and see if it can do that. And I have also changed uh, the prompt a bit. So let me run this and then we will see what it does in terms of translation. I'm just going to show you as it prints. It takes a bit of a time in translation. But anyway, let's wait for it. It should not take too long. And there you go, it has given us a translation. So first up, this is a transcription. This is the English one. This is French. Google Translate tells me it is quite good, but I will also take advice of the native speakers of their respective language. So please enlighten us. Spanish again also looks quite good. So is the case with Italian. And then German is also pretty spot on as per Google Translate. Portuguese, Portuguese also looks quite good, Japanese and then also the Mandarin and this looks really really good. Okay so and then Arabic. I'm not really sure about Arabic but I would need your uh, input on it. Maybe we can quickly check it in Google Translate together. So there you go. I believe 
it has done arabic too and interestingly as i said it's not even part of its model card so that is very impressive okay so that is good now let's check out the hindi one i'm not really sure so let's see wow even hindi is working quite well and it's not in the model card so that is pretty cool you know what even i think indonesian looks quite good to me there you go and swahili i'm not sure but we can check of course if the translation is good enough yep even swahili is being done quite nicely and then urdu so this is not urdu this is a hindi script so i will just skip it persian looks better to me but let's check yeah it's okay not really spot on but still the good effort but look even you can see most of the languages which are not in its uh, model card it was able to do so so pretty impressive effort by ibm let me know what do you think i will drop the link to it in video description and by the way if you're interested in other granite family and other ibm tooling i have covered all of them in great detail check it out let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching